Hello and welcome to this quick Interbase Labs tutorial where we'll be showing you the steps you need to take to deploy out your first Interbase to Go or IB Lite license. Now this video is suitable for those using Interbase to Go test deployment licenses or have um, live slip files and also for those who have got a serial number for IB Lite or if you're using the SDK pack licenses as part of our um, Interbase VAR partner program. So it's really easy, there's basically three steps. Register, download, and then go ahead and start building your applications. So we'll have a look at the registration first, and then where we put the licenses, and then we'll finish off with some quick tips for making sure that we're able to connect to our databases and and deploy out what we need into our mobile applications easily. So step one, if you go to reg.embarkadero.com, you can enter your serial number there. Um, you can see my nice fake serial number on the screen here. Um, your registration code, if you're using the trial licenses, um, then it's 737-479, and I believe it's the same for IB Lite. If uh, you have live licenses, then you'll find the serial number and the registration code within your email. So if you've got an SDK pack, you'll find both of those and you'll need both versions to generate the live licenses from those serial numbers. Once you enter the serial number, hit next. Uh, if you're not logged in, you'll just need to log in with your username and password. You'll then end up with the download license page, which has the kind of following details really. Uh, it will confirm the product that you've licensed. It will confirm if there's a hard shutoff date within that license. So for the trial licenses and the SDK pack licenses, they are timed license, which is not a problem. You can just come back later on and go through the same steps to get the, the new fresh license. For all live licenses, then they are there's no expiry date on them. Now you'll get uh, a, an email or um, a downloaded file that has a timestamp in it and the first thing that you need to do really depending on what the license is is just rename it to reg underscore ib to go or reg underscore uh, ib light and save it into the redistribution folder so if you you can use the command line or if you're a bit like me just prefer going and copying and paste it into the right place then let's go and have a look at where that redistribution folder is Okay, so I've literally browsed to C users, public documents, and then gone to the Embarcadero Interbase redistribution folder. And the current version of Interbase will then have a subfolder there, which you can then copy your licenses in and just make sure the file names are correct. So reg underscore IB Lite or reg underscore IB to go. Now, once you've got them there, they're then ready to be picked up there in the right location for the feature files to work through the IDE for Rad Studio or for App Method. So if you go to Project, Deployment, um, if you choose Add Features, in here you'll be able to find the Interbase to go. And you'll be able to see here it's looking at the Interbase redistribution folder, reg underscore IB to go or reg underscore IB Lite. And you can enable or disable whichever licenses you want to um, send out. Now, equally, you can distribute out your own license um, with a for a specific project uh, without calling it reg underscore IB to go or reg underscore IB Lite. These are great for testing, um, but for the live builds, you may want to specify a specific license file that you distribute out instead. So once you've got Interbase um, in here, the only thing I would say is uh, when you enable Interbase, it will have the remote path for the different platforms and you'll be able to see that the licenses are there um, because they're not greyed out. Um, if we're going to have a look at Android, we can see this is actually a slightly different path. Um, this time it's assets internal interface and it is case sensitive. I quite often add my database file to go to the same folder, um, which is nice and easy. Now, if that is what you've done and you've just copied that path in, then in your code, if you just use um, tpath.getDocumentsPath, and use the path delimiter, interbase, um, which is lowercase because um, it's a path sens uh, case sensitive pathing, 
and then just the name of your, your database file um, with the new path delimiter after it. And that will then pick up and, and point it in the right place. You're then ready to connect your database and off you go. So that's about it. That's as simple as it is to, to get up and ready to run Interbase with your projects.